you argue you argue ah you argue eh hey, cikgu ni cakap songsang lah tapi sini ada sini sini ada energy sini tak ada energy eh 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 nampak tak nampak tak nampak tak eh eh nampak tak nampak tak ah deh 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 sunlight ah deh sunlight ah tenaga cahaya matahari solar energy okay ha so it is true that the relationship between the photosynthesis and the car and the cellular respiration has a reverse or we call it inverse relationship okay hubungan yang amat rapat photosynthesis is the process of making food they menghasilkan makanan making food from the carbon dioxide and the water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in green plants so to produce the food what do you need you need the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide carbon dioxide coming from where coming from the plant absorbed from the atmosphere when humans or other living things they use oxygen release carbon dioxide the plant the plant will be able to absorb the oxygen uh, carbon dioxide absorb the carbon dioxide and then water water coming from where water coming from the rain or you go and water your plant water okay in the presence of light what light sunlight nah sunlight sunlight okay that's why people say photosynthesis only happening in the morning only happening during the daytime where the sunlight is shining presence of light and the chlorophyll in the green plants chlorophyll we know coming from the chloroplast we studied this already earlier in the chapter chloroplast inside there is chlorophyll chlorophyll where at the okay just revise the bit ha huh? chlorophyll where at the epidermal layer also got at the palisade layer also got at the gut cell stomata also got okay uh, uh palisade cell has the most uh, uh chloroplast okay palisade cell okay epidermal is the one lying down okay then you have palisade cell the standing up one okay palisade cell going to have the most chloroplast okay it's just revision a bit so this the chloroplast or the chlorophyll will be able to absorb the sunlight chlorophyll is may contain in chloroplast that absorb sunlight okay by the way just now process of making food ah number one you need carbon dioxide number two you need water number three you need light number four you need chlorophyll okay so four things you need chlorophyll is contained in the chloroplast that absorb sunlight okay oxygen is released as the byproduct of photosynthesis this time we talk about byproduct what is byproduct hasil yang kita tidak perlu the product that we don't need okay hasil tepi side product that we don't need we don't need the product Okay, byproduct. So what happens is when they are going through photosynthesis, what does the plant want? The plant want the food. The plant want the food. What does the plant do want? The plant, the plant do want oxygen. That is why when they are going through photosynthesis, they will absorb the food. They will absorb the food, but they will release the oxygen. Release the oxygen of the photosynthesis. Release oxygen for who? For humans like us to absorb the oxygen. Okay, what happens? When they have food, when they produce food now, a lot of food now, a lot of food in the, in 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 the in the in the this uh in the plant, a lot of food in the plant. What happens is the food, or you can call it excess glucose. Okay, the food is in the form of excess glucose. Dalam bentuk, okay, glukosa yang berlebihan. Okay, makanan untuk tumbuhan ini akan dalam bentuk glukosa yang berlebihan, excess glucose. Okay, okay, excess glucose is stored in the form of the starch okay i think they call it kanji okay they will be uh, stored in the form of starch in the leaves okay so food going to be here 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 food going to be here. in the stem food going to be here food going to be here in the fruit okay there's a fruit lah right? i just imagine the fruit uh, fruit uh, is the food going to be here food going to be here and the roots the food going to be here food going to be here food going to be here so all throughout the plant they will need the food the food they will be exist in all the parts okay exist in all the parts the food going to be there okay so okay let's see just now just now when we are at cellular respiration do you realize do you realize that we are actually do you realize that actually we are using the glucose oxygen glucose oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water now we are terbalik ah terbalik ah terbalik ah terbalik ah kita songsangkan proses ni kita songsangkan proses ni now this now you see ah glucose oxygen in the front ah glucose oxygen in the front now glucose oxygen at the back carbon dioxide and water in the front see ah glucose oxygen at the back water carbon dioxide in the front what is this this is this is photosynthesis photosynthesis that means the water and the carbon dioxide and the what there's one more thing lah and the sunlight okay and the sunlight and the uh, okay sunlight what else okay let's see from here sunlight carbon dioxide water okay so that's all lah sunlight so sunlight 
add the sunlight to this water and carbon dioxide. Water and carbon dioxide add the sunlight melalui proses fotosintesis, going through the process of fotosintesis, going to produce glucose and oxygen. Glucose is what? Glucose is the food for the plant. Remember glucose or not? Remember glucose? What happened to the glucose? What happened to the glucose? Excess glucose being stored as starch in the plant. So they will produce the food as glucose. Makanan untuk tumbuhan dihasilkan dalam bentuk glukosa. Glukosa yang berlebihan akan disimpan dalam tumbuhan uh, dalam bentuk kanji. Okay, so glucose food. Okay, glucose food. Going to the photosynthesis, water carbon dioxide going to give you glucose oxygen. So, what is the relationship? Apakah hubungan antara photosynthesis and the cellular respiration? They have a hubungan yang songsang. Cellular respiration use glucose oxygen to produce energy. Oh, okay. That means what? That means that means ah, uh, uh, cellular respiration use use food and oxygen to produce energy, or uh, to produce carbon dioxide, produce water. Terbalik, terbalik. Photosynthesis now use water, use carbon dioxide, use energy from the sun to produce food and oxygen. Okay. You argue, you argue, ah, uh, you argue. Eh. Hey. Cikgu ni cakap songsang lah, tapi sini ada energi, sini, sini ada energi, sini tak ada energi. Eh, eh, nampak tak, nampak tak, nampak tak. Eh, eh, nampak tak, nampak tak. Ah, deh, 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 sunlight, ah deh, sunlight. Ah, tenaga cahaya matahari, solar energy. Okay, ha? so it is true that the relationship between the photosynthesis and the car and the cellular respiration has a reverse or we call it inverse relationship. Okay, hubungan yang amat rapat. Okay, so the occurrence of the photosynthesis they can be tested using the iodine test. Okay, there is a test we call it the iodine test. Okay, namanya iodine test to test what? To test whether or not photosynthesis has happened. So use iodine test to test the photosynthesis. So this will be the iodine test. Okay, so you can have a read for yourself. I'll just explain very uh, briefly. What happens is the leaf you will go and put in the beaker. We are at here, huh? The leaf in the beaker of the boiling water. Why? Because you want to break down the cell wall. Remember or not, the cell of the plant cell, they have a very strong cell wall. So for us to go inside this leaf, we need to break down the cell wall. So we break down the cell wall, we make the leaf lembutkan daun. We are going to make the leaf softer using the boiling water. After that, we take out the leaf and then the leaf being placed in a boiling tube that contains ethanol. Ethanol is a kind of alcohol. Okay, put the leaf in the ethanol. Okay, then what happens? You place the entire boiling tube into the water bath, into the hot water, hot water. Okay, put in the hot water. Why? Because you want to remove the chlorophyll. Okay, remove the chlorophyll. That means remove the green color. That means now your leaf no color. Okay, then the decolorized leaf. Decolorized means no color lah. Decolorized means no color. Decolorized leaf is then dipped into a beaker of hot water, put in the hot water to rub, to wash off the ethanol. Ethanol you have to wash off. Wash off the ethanol. Now the leaf is placed on a tile. Okay, put, put on a tile, lah. And a few drops of iodine solution are added to test for the starch. So what happens is you must know the function of the iodine solution. Apa kata you put iodine solution? You must know the function of the iodine solution. The iodine solution will turn from original brown color. They will turn to blue black color. Blue black color or dark blue color, brown to dark blue color when starch is present. When there is starch, ah, when there is starch, you test the iodine. Iodine going to turn into blue, dark blue color, okay, or blue black color from the brown color. Okay, so this is the, okay, so iodine test. Okay, so this is telling you lah, huh? This is how you test it. Okay, uh, if you want to, if they carry out iodine test, this is the result you want to see. Okay, inilah pemerhatian yang kamu mesti uh, dapatkan starch is present if the iodine solution turns from brown to blue back. Okay, remember the color. Now there are going to be four. I think if I'm not mistaken, there are going to be four experiment. Correct. There is going to be four. Okay. Uh, these are four experiment because we know that just now because we know that there is going to be uh, four uh, four requirement or four factor factor of photosynthesis factor. Okay, there is four factor of photosynthesis: sunlight. Carbon dioxide, water, and the chlorophyll. Okay, four experiment for us to do to to identify 
what kind of reaction the plant will give if we don't do a certain things. Okay. So by the way, because this Zoom, we have 40 minute limit, 40 minute limit. So what happens is later, if you are still interested to join me, after this, uh, another 5 minutes and 50 plus seconds, you should be able to see the timer. After 5 minutes, 50 plus seconds, when this Zoom finish, we will change change to another Zoom. Session number 2, change to another Zoom. And then I will hantarkan code kepada Telegram or hantarkan code kepada WhatsApp group. I will send the code to the WhatsApp group again. Then you join again, second session. We are going to continue this. Then after that, we are going to look at the mathematics, latihan mathematics. Okay, so now let's start. I think we can finish one experiment first. Eh? Actually, the experiment about the same. Experiment about the same. Just that you need to know what they change. What is the MV? Okay, so let's see. Uh, for the synthesis for the sunlight, there's the first experiment for the sunlight. So the aim to investigate whether sunlight is essential for photosynthesis. Adakah cahaya matahari diperlukan untuk untuk melakukan proses fotosintesis? So hypothesis. What is your guess? That the sunlight is essential. That means you are saying that photosynthesis need the sunlight. Photosynthesis memerlukan cahaya matahari untuk dilakukan. So what happens is, uh, there is going to be two plants lah basically. Eh, two plants lah. I can draw for you diagram too lah. Oh, two plants, plant one, plant two, okay, in the black plastic bag. Okay, there's going to be plant, okay, and plant. Okay, one you label as A, one you label as B. The A you put under matahari, the B you put inside a black color box. Then, what happens is, after one week, they will take the leaf. Take the leaf, take the leaf. Huh? You see a difference or not? One got sunlight, huh? One got sunlight, huh? The other one you put in the cupboard, huh? The other one you put in the cupboard, huh? Dalam amari, huh? Put in the cupboard, huh? That means one got sunlight, one don't have sunlight. So, let's see. The observation. Plant A, the one you put under the sun. Is there sunlight or not? Yes, there is sunlight. Plant B, presence of sunlight. No sunlight. Why? Because you put in the cupboard. That's why there is no sun. So what happens? Plant A, your leaf turns to blue black. Just now I say, when the iodine test, now they're doing iodine test, huh? when they do the iodine test and the leaf turns to blue black, what it means? What does it mean? It means that there is, there is starch. When there is starch, what's the There is glucose. When there is glucose, what's the There is photo, photo, synthesis. Yeah? Iodine, you test. Original color, brown color. Original color, brown color. Then you are going to change the uh, brown color to a blue-black color. When it changes to blue-black color, what does it mean? It means that there is starch. Can you not? There is starch. Number two, when there is starch, what does it mean? There is glucose. When there is glucose, what does it mean? That means photosynthesis has happened. Photosynthesis has happened. So your inference, inference, inference. Your reasoning, photosynthesis, has taken place with the presence of sunlight. That means, uh, because, okay, so I, I mean already. So, because we have the new sunlight, uh, no, no, not new sunlight. Because we have the sunlight, that is why photosynthesis can occur. Photosynthesis can occur. That is why it changed the iodine from the brown to the blue black. Okay, plan B, no sunlight. Then, the iodine test remains unchanged. Remains unchanged means tidak berubah. Tidak berubah means that it is maintained, maintained, maintained. Brown color. Maintain brown color. So, the photosynthesis cannot take place. Tidak dilakukan. Photosynthesis tidak dilakukan apabila tidak ada cahaya matahari. When there is no sunlight, the photosynthesis, they cannot take place. They cannot take place. So, plan B, there is no photosynthesis. Why? Because remain unchanged, no starch, no glucose, no photosynthesis. So, your conclusion. Sunlight is essential for photosynthesis ataupun cahaya matahari okay, diperlukan untuk photosynthesis. Okay, diperlukan untuk photosynthesis. So, carbon dioxide, the aim to investigate whether carbon dioxide is essential for, carbon, for photosynthesis. Okay, same idea like just now. Actually, just changing the word. So now we say to investigate whether sunlight is essential. So now you say whether or not this carbon dioxide is essential. Okay, change here, change here. Carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. You know, uh, you know already, uh, you don't need to act like you don't know. Uh. You, you know carbon dioxide, you need, then you put there. Uh. Okay? This is experiment only. Uh. So there's no point you act like you don't know. Uh. Okay? So carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. In fact, the diagram is going to be the same. There is going to be two plants. Plant A, plant B. Okay? So the plant A, what happens is they are going to uh, not expose to carbon dioxide by putting the plant, dripping, okay, probably they put the leaf, uh, put the leaf inside a beaker that has 
or a, a solution of what we call a potassium hydroxide. Okay, KOH, potassium hydroxide solution. Okay, the potassium hydroxide solution is going to prevent the carbon dioxide going into the leaf when you are submerging, when you are uh, apabila kamu celup down to, when you are putting the the down the, the leaf into the potassium hydroxide solution, it will block the carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide cannot go in. Okay, carbon dioxide cannot go in. So you are blocking the carbon dioxide from going in. But plant B, you are exposing to carbon dioxide. So plant B, you put outside lah. Plant A, you put in the carbon in the in the potassium hydroxide solution. Plant B, you put outside. A plant B you put outside. After one week, the leaves from the plant A, plant B are plucked to undergo the iodine test. So you only use one test lah, iodine. Because you want to know whether or not photosynthesis happen. When photosynthesis, photosynthesis happen, you know that there is starch. When there is starch, there is glucose. There is glucose, there is photosynthesis. So you only need one test, iodine test. Okay? You need only iodine test. So, same, you pluck a leaf and then we go to the iodine test, the result. So what happens is, leaf, plant A, presence of carbon dioxide. No carbon dioxide, right? Because uh, cannot go in through the potassium hydroxide solution. So, no carbon dioxide. What happens? Iron test. Iron test remains unchanged. That means unchanged. That means what? Tidak berubah. That means what? Tidak berlaku photosynthesis. The inference: photosynthesis cannot take place without the carbon dioxide. Cannot take place without carbon dioxide. That is your uh, reason. Right? Inference is actually called the reason. Maksud, uh, uh, bukan. Sebab, sebab. Yeah, reason. Plan B. Okay, a presence of carbon dioxide. Yes, there is carbon dioxide because you are out in the air, open. So there is going to be carbon dioxide existing in the air. A leaf will turn the blue black or dark blue. Maksudnya apa? Maksudnya? Maksudnya? Ada starch. Ada glucose. Ada photosynthesis. That's why you say photosynthesis can take place with the presence of carbon dioxide. So your conclusion is carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. Okay, simple, huh? Simple. Only two experiments. Now, Chlorophyll. To investigate whether chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis, copy and paste, change this. Copy and paste, change this. Chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis. But this one more special. No plant A, plant B. We have a variegated leaf. Variegated leaf means inside one leaf, you have two types of color. Right? There is a pink color or red color part. There is a green color part. Okay, that picture is what I'm showing you. Variegated leaf. Variegated leaf. So, the variegated leaf is being exposed to the sun. Okay, sebahagian ada chlorophyll, sebahagian ada chloroplast, sebahagian tiada chlorophyll, sebahagian tiada chloroplast. So, the variegated leaf being exposed to the sun, you are going to mark the green and non-green areas. Okay, that means, uh, okay, basically you just uh, uh, put a marking. Lah. Actually, you can see lah, which one is green, which one is not green. What happens is, you, after one week, you will take the leaf, the whole leaf. You pluck the leaf, you go through an iodine test again. Now, we must understand the logic of this variegated leaf first. When it is in the red color area, uh, you must know that chloroplast will give you the green color. Chlorophyll, chlorophyll, okay? Chlorophyll is a green color pigment. Okay, it's a green color pigment. The chlorophyll is what gives our plant green color. That's why you see majority of plants have the green color coming from the chlorophyll. So, when you are in these areas, when you're in these areas, surely there will be chloroplast. When there is chloroplast, there is chlorophyll. That's why it gives it a green color. In these areas, there is no chloroplast, no chlorophyll. That is why it exists as a red color, not the green color. So, there is no green color pigment in these places. There is no chloroplast, no chlorophyll. Okay, so let's see. Now, in the part of the leaf where it is green color, okay, just like the green color part. Is there chloroplast? Yes. Is there chlorophyll? Yes. The observation, what happens? The leaf will turn to blue-black. Or the leaf turn, or the, the iodine test turns from brown to blue-black. Maksudnya apa? Maksudnya, there is starch, there is glucose, there is photosynthesis. Then, photosynthesis took place with the presence of chlorophyll. Non-green, non-green. Non-green means what? The red color part lah, the red color part. Non-green. Is there chlorophyll? Is there chloroplast? No chloroplast, no chlorophyll. Observation for iodine test remains unchanged. Remains unchanged. That means tidak berubah. That means no starch, no glucose, no photosynthesis. Photosynthesis cannot take place without chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis. Okay, let's go again. Last, last, last. Water, water. To copy and paste to investigate whether water change. Water change is essential for photosynthesis. Okay, again, plant A, plant B. Plant A, you go and put water. Plant B, you don't put water. After one week, you pluck the leaf from plant A and plant B. Okay, dah. Let's go. 
observation plant a is there sunlight yes there is sunlight because you are putting it eh, not sunlight nah. presence of water ah not sunlight water presence of water is there water yes there is water observation from the iodine test what happens the leaf turns to blue black why because there is starch there is glucose there is photosynthesis so photosynthesis took place with the presence of water plant b is there water? No water because you never go and water the plant. So no water. Remains unchanged. Tidak berubah. Why? No starch, no glucose, no photosynthesis. Photosynthesis cannot take place without water. So your conclusion is water is essential for photosynthesis. So cellular respiration and photosynthesis are actually opposite processes and they are complements of each other. That means they are mempengaruhi hubungan yang songsang. Okay, that means they are inverse relationship between one another. Okay, complements means uh, they are uh, a pair, they are pairing up each other. So you can see that, like I explained just now, glucose oxygen from cellular respiration, they will move to the back. Okay, carbon dioxide, water energy, they will move to the front. Okay, here, tambah sunlight or solar energy. Okay, so that is what will give you your equations. So this is the why. The, when, you, when you are doing cellular respiration, the plant doing photosynthesis. When the plant doing respiration, uh, when, uh, when the plant doing photosynthesis, you doing respiration. So inverse. Now, so this uh, comparison table. Uh, cellular respiration happens in the cell or the living thing. All cells will carry out the respiration. But photosynthesis only happens in the plant cell with the chlorophyll because the plant cell has the chloroplast. Cellular respiration is to break down the food. This is how you eat the food. The food being broken down to release energy. So that is a respiration. For this in this case, you take the energy from the sun, you take the water, you take the carbon dioxide, you go and make your own food. So, process of making food. Cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria, in our mitochondria, in our animal cell. That's why we say that the mitochondria inside our animal cell is to, the function is to generate electricity, electricity blood. Generate energy or produce energy. Photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast. Why chloroplast? Because there is chlorophyll, able to absorb sunlight. Respiration. Carbon dioxide and water are released. Okay, we release as the byproduct. Photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide and water, they are not released but they are used because they are opposite. Cellular respiration. We are going to breathe in oxygen, so oxygen is used. Photosynthesis, oxygen released because they are the byproduct of photosynthesis. They don't need the oxygen. Release oxygen for humans. Respiration occur at all times. Are you breathing? You jogging, walking, sleeping? Tak kisah, respiration will happen. Photosynthesis only occur in the presence of the sunlight. Only when there is sunlight, the photosynthesis will happen. Now, respiration, energy being released. Do you remember not just now? 2,989 kilojoule of energy, okay, released with the oxidation and the breaking down of the glucose. Photosynthesis, energy being absorbed from the solar energy, from the sunlight. So we and, and absorb the energy to carry out photosynthesis. So you see, where in our ecosystem, okay, dalam ecosystem kita is a balanced ecosystem, okay, one going to uh, release energy, one going to absorb energy. So what happens is, for the, okay, let's see, uh, wait, let's see, uh, uh, from here, okay, let's see from here. This is the plant, the plant going to absorb the, no, no, this is the energy, this is the animal. Animal have the mitochondria to absorb the glucose, uh, to get the oxygen and the glucose for cellular respiration to occur in the mitochondria. After that, they are going to release the waste product, carbon dioxide and water. After respiration, release carbon dioxide and water, and then the carbon dioxide and water and go to the plant. Go to the plant. Photosynthesis occur in the chloroplast. Okay, using the chloroplast, the chlorophyll, photosynthesis occur, solar energy come down or light energy, and then we'll go to glucose or oxygen. After that, release glucose oxygen, glucose oxygen going to be absorbed again by the uh, animal, by the animal. Okay, by the animal for it to produce energy, energy release. Right, through the mitochondria in the form of ATP energy being released. Okay, so that will be all.